Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here in the Union's head office in Kingston, London. We're joined by General Secretary Matt Rack to discuss the impending publication of the Phase 1 report into the Grenfell Tower fire. Matt, there's a lot of publicity around this, the mm -hmm. suggestions that the fire service and indeed firefighters could be criticised in the report. Overwhelming majority of firefighters involved of course are FBU members. Mm -hmm. What's the Union going to be doing to support and represent these members? Well, Tam, we've uh, done a huge amount of work over the past uh, 28 months on Grenfell, uh, and uh, we are preparing uh, for the publication this week. And there has, as you say, there's been press reports that uh, the fire service and possibly named people are going to be criticised. I think our approach will be we will be defending FBU members, and we will be saying that actually this is missing the point. This is, uh, first of all, the inquiry is the wrong way round. It's looking at what happened on the night. It is not looking at what led up to the fire and why the building was in such a state. And secondly, importantly, it's avoiding the issue of who really made the decisions. There are politicians who deregulated fire safety, deregulated building safety, deregulated the standards in the fire service, allowed the fire service fire safety departments to be cut in half, fragmented the fire service. They're the people who should be held to account, not firefighters who put their lives on the line on the night of that fire. Now, Mark, we've talked about criticism firefighters have been receiving. One quite high-profile uh, criticism that's come out is actually from Baroness Lawrence. Um, what's the union doing to take up that issue with Doreen Lawrence? Well, we've uh, challenged Doreen Lawrence's uh, statement uh, regarding uh, the possibility that racism influenced the uh, operation that night. We don't accept that. We have uh, written to her and we are currently arranging a meeting. A meeting's arranged. We will be attending to explain the views. Actually, we've got a long history with Doreen Lawrence. The union supported the Stephen Lawrence campaign. Firefighters marched on, on, on campaign marches for justice. So we'll be explaining that, uh, the, the history of our union in terms of challenging racism in the fire service or anywhere else, but certainly taking up that claim. OK, Matt. Now, you sent out a circular recently to all FBU members about the Grenfell Tower fire and the Phase 1 report. And you've got a paragraph in here around stay put, which, of course, is an operational policy. Why did you specifically include that in the circular? I think it appears that stay put is going to be a key feature of the discussion around the report uh, and maybe an area where the fire service is criticised. And the point here is that the firefighters know exactly why stay put is there and the logic of it. And, uh, but it, of course, re relies on the building complying with building regulations, fire safety re regulations, and have its fire safety measures within the building. And the problem is what happens when those fire safety measures are compromised. But the issue of stay put has been around for quite a long time. Indeed, the Fire Brigade Union raised it in relation to one of the fires where our own members have been killed. It was also, of course, raised after the Lackanell House fire. But again, the point here is the coroner at Lackanell House wrote to the Secretary of State, Eric Pickles. So it seems completely unjust that the actions of firefighters on the night of the fire are questioned when nobody is questioning what the Secretary of State did in response to that coroner's letter. Let's hold them to account. Let's see them in the uh, in the inquiry being questioned by lawyers. OK, Matt, now just final, as I say, the report's getting published on Wednesday the 30th, but you're going to Parliament tonight. What actually are you going to be saying to the MPs that you're meeting this evening? Well, we're going to be setting out uh, what the union's position so far. We've not seen the report. I've not seen the report yet. We will do over the next day or so. Uh, but we're going to explain uh, the union's position, the union's understanding of the history of deregulation within the fire and rescue service. Uh, by various governments and that's in advance of a, a parliamentary debate, in fact two parliamentary debates, this one in the House of Commons, one in the House of Lords, after the publication of the uh, GTI report. So we're alerting MPs of what we're saying and we hope that some MPs will take up uh, the points we're raising and put them to government ministers because let's remember the Prime Minister was formerly the Mayor of London who forced through the biggest cuts in the history of the fire service anywhere in the UK. Uh, and actually, firefighters will remember, actually, when questions were asked uh, in the uh, London Assembly, told a, a Labour member to get stuffed. That's the attitude to fire safety we've had of politicians for many years, and that needs to be challenged and called out. 
Matt, thanks very much indeed. Well, for more updates on this issue and indeed the wider work of the Fire Brigade Union, you can go to our website, that's www.fbu.org.uk or for more immediate updates, you can follow us on Twitter and that's simply at FBU National. There's going to be certainly much more updates on this issue in particular, but until next time, thanks and thank you much, Matt.